You're alive. That's wonderful. Can we talk? You're a real live person, aren't you? I thought I was all alone out here. I bet you came from that city over there. Could you help me, please? I'm a projection, silly. My brother and I are part of the Mages Guild expedition. Well, freelancers, really. We got separated from the others as soon as we arrived in Cold Harbor. But we're not slacking off. We're investigating this old library. We drew straws and I wound up on watch duty. But when I saw Daedra seal the entrance, I found another way inside. To rescue my brother, you know. But now I'm trapped too. There's a lot of magical projection stuff in here. That's how I'm talking to you. The Major Guild gathered a team of the best dungeon delvers from across the three alliances. Members of the Undaunted, just in case they ran into any ruins or relics. My brother went into the old library with a couple of other treasure hunters. You got it. Look, my brother's the expert, but I think the Daedra are using the projection lenses to spy on the people trapped in the library. As long as the lenses are active, the doors won't open. I'm thinking sabotage is in order. That's my thought. I'll provide whatever help I can from in here. I can tell you this. One of the other scholars, she called this place the Library of Dusk. Couldn't wait to start exploring. Please hurry. Whatever the Daedra want, it can't be good. Probably shouldn't be proud of that. Is this working? Can you see me? 
I'll try to show you what's going on inside the library while you smash those lenses. Here goes. I hope you're watching. I'd much rather speak to you in person. I just don't trust these magical projections. Any number of Daedra could be watching. <laughs> Moloch Ball will reward me when I add you to this army. <laughs> Moloch Ball will reward me when I add you to this army. It's working. I switched the widgets with the gadgets and that seemed to do the trick. Now let's see if I can get a view into the other part of the library. That was unexpected. I must be doing something wrong. I'll give it one more try while you hunt down the last lens. don't like your odds. See if I can spot my brother. Lady Laurent, we need to get out of here. This place is a trap. Young Raynor has already been caught in his spell. Oh, Talinger. Let's just stay here. Why can't he hear me? Raynor! I can see Raynor through this observation window, but he can't hear me. It must be the spell. And I bet the spell didn't affect me because I'm not attuned to whatever catalyst controls the Magica Matrix. You know, the spell web. A pretty elegant trap, really. I think the spell's catalyst has something to do with an interest in knowledge. 
I'd be insulted, but what can I say? I'm in this for adventure, not scholarly pursuits. And thanks, by the way. The spell seems to be a combination of glamours and illusions. It snared my brother and the other scholarly types. Anyway, we can't leave them like that. We have to snap them out of it. I always have a plan. It requires you to get down there and talk some sense into them. I'll make sure that Daedra don't lock us in here again. Just find me if Raynor gives you any trouble. And be careful. Illusion magic can be tricky. Sure, but there may be other spells active down there. Take a look at the observation windows and remember the details of each holding cell. The Daedra must be keeping those notes for some reason, and I believe in always being prepared. <laughs> am I all right? Oh, I am perfect. But I am not who you seek. You won't release them from our spell. They belong to us now. But you... You shall simply die. You know, I like to think I'm agreeable. Sorry, this book is so engrossing. Could we talk later? I said I'm reading. Go bother someone with an intellect closer to your own level. I'm sure Lady Clarice and that Ultima Artificer would be happy to listen to your inane ramblings. Whatever. Just go...
I should have joined the buoyant homages. You're back, but I don't see Raynor. What's going on? I'll handle this. I know just what to do when Raynor gets too absorbed in his work. We developed a system for just this sort of situation. Let's go. Raynor, get your head out of that book. It's time to leave this horrible place. Leave me alone, sister. I'm busy. That does it. Remember, Raynor, you asked for this. Kirith, what was that for? I... Wait, where am I? Works every time. I'm a little disoriented, but did my sister just hit me? I think so. I can still feel the spell tugging at my mind, though. Just in case, Kirith and I are going to our camp outside of the ruins. But I'm worried about the others. Since the spell doesn't seem to affect you, can you look for Lady Laurent? Thanks. Kirith and I will... Coming for us.
Rainer sent you? But why? I see. I suppose I should ask whether or not you're part of this elaborate trap, but I sense that you're not an illusion. Oh, I can feel the spell, however, crawling back, trying to slip into my mind. What an odd sensation. Hmm. I remember that we discovered something or another, but the details elude me. Perhaps if I had more time to recover from the effects of the spell... Uh, wait a moment. Uh, Tellinger said something important just before I became engrossed in this relic. I wouldn't know exactly, but I'm sure Tellinger's around here somewhere. He's really quite clever and dashing to boot. <laughs> he reminds me of my... my good friend Stibbins. Thank you. I'm going to get out. I'm rather busy right now. Come back later. No, not even a little. You won't find your artificer, and you'll never leave here alive! I take it that you are the one who read my note. The spells I placed upon it alerted me that non-Daedra eyes examined the writing. I do hope that you are a member of the Force from Tamriel. If so, I have something to show you. This vault contains a portal, and the power emanating from it is overwhelming. 
Something on the other side seems to pierce the veil of illusion that hangs over this ruined library. Mm, it's inconsequential. Whatever it is, it may serve a purpose in our battle against the Lord of Cold Harbor. If we can acquire it, then this excursion will not have been a complete waste of time. Mm, I have my suspicions, but I hate to speculate. If you must know, I think it might be one of the fabled lights of Meridia. The sources of power she used to hurl the hollow city into cold harbor. Come in and we shall investigate further. Enter the portal and find the source of the power I sense emanating from the other side. Because I don't completely trust myself, while I have avoided the illusions that trap the others, I can still feel the pull of the Daedric spell. Find the power source and meet me at our camp outside the ruins, and take this token, just in case. Once you go through the portal, the token will attune itself to the access point. If you get lost, use the token and it will return you to the portal. What was once a curiosity that won me fortune and acclaim is now a vital tool in our mission. Bar's bondage. Find them and bring them to me. Know that you may jump from here and rejoin your friends below. What power I still possess shall keep you safe. Welcome back, my friend. Did you find it? Was I right? Was the source of power I sensed one of the fabled lights of Meridia? By the eight, that crystal! It is a light of Meridia. It is said that these orbs of power once allowed Meridia to transport an entire city into Cold Harbor. If an agent of Meridia harnesses this power force, we shall gain a distinct advantage. With Meridia's light, we can turn the tide of this campaign. Kirith said you came from the Hollow City. We shall go there once everyone has had a chance to rest. Thank you for your help. You know, you remind me of one of my students. Once inside the Hollow City, we'll begin helping with the war effort. We must test the lights of Meridia and investigate methods for destroying Molag Ball's plane meld mechanism. There is always research to do in campaigns such as this.
These swords, they must be a clue. Now where did those fools run off to? Nothing ever changes. By Ifra's hairy feet, you outsiders just keep showing up. You and everyone else in this forest, it seems. My clan has already declared your allies to be trespassers. You don't want to know what we do to trespassers. The Shadow Walkers will catch them. They always do. Does a fuzzy newt goat have seven toes? Don't look at me like that. It's a perfectly appropriate analogy. Anyway, I hope I reach them before the Hunters do. Otherwise, your allies don't stand a chance. Because I'm tired of seeing people get hurt. Ugh. Things need to change around here. We've already spent way too much time talking about fuzzy newt goats. I really need to get moving. Have you noticed the swords left near these campfires? I think your companions are trying to tell us something. I'm going to keep looking for them. If I can reach them before the Hunters, they might just get out of this forest alive. Keep your eyes open and your weapon ready. The shadows here are not your friend. for entering the moonless walk. You need to be alive. You have to be. I need you to help me. I, I didn't do it. I swear. He was like this when I found him. This poor soldier. He didn't have to die. At least the Khajiit got away. How long can he manage to survive, though? I don't know. 
My clan can be very persistent. Because we made a stupid deal long, long time ago. We became the guardians of this forest in exchange for power and immortality. But look at the cost. Now the Shadow Walkers hunt anyone who dare sets foot in these woods. There might still be a way to save the other soldier, the Khajiit. But you need to trust me. I won't oppose my clan directly. They're my family. But I can help you find your friend. I just want to make sure no one else gets hurt. The Shadow Walkers use runners to search the forest, but you'll never see them. They become one with the shadows, all but invisible when the clan is on high alert. There is a way to see the runners, though. You need to collect the bark of a Spriggan. The bark's magic allows the creatures to... How should I put this? Feel their way through the dark woods. Infuse the bark with the wisps of light, and you should be able to spot the runners. Your friend is out there, being hunted by my people as we speak. If you have questions, ask them quickly so we can get back to the task. My clan is ancient, older than you can even imagine. Our tree mender tells stories of the before time, when we lived under the bright skies in the lush forests of Valenwood. According to the stories, the Daedric Prince unleashed his fury upon Valenwood. Instead of fighting back, my ancestors decided to offer their allegiance to the Prince. And here we are. Gave up. That's one way to look at it. Another way is to see a clan that wanted not only to survive, but to gain a significant advantage. The Shadow Walkers love power. In exchange for servitude, we were promised power over our enemies. I explained this to you already. I'm tired of darkness and false promises. Molag Baal gave us power, but he keeps us trapped here. What good is power if we're stuck in this realm forever? I want to see clear skies and stars in the night. Did you get the bark? We don't have- Just scrape a bit off the top end. There. An old trick I learned living so long in this dreadful place. My friends thought it was funny to hide from me, so I'd use this to see them. It also has an interesting side effect. While it allows you to see anyone hiding in the Shadow Realm, it also masks your presence from them. I've used this method to avoid patrols and sneak out of the forest. It really works. But remember, the effect is temporary. It doesn't last long. Touch the bark to a wisp of light, and then cross the bridge. The runners are searching for the remaining soldier. When you spot a runner, follow him. He should lead you right to your friend. And if the effect runs out, just touch another wisp. Creatures acting so strangely today.
you can. I could have sworn I heard something. Ifra's name, is that sound coming from? Ifra's name, is that sound coming?
thought I heard something. What's all that noise out there? Why are the creatures acting so strangely today? For his name, is that sound coming from? I could have sworn I heard something. Oh, no. I need aid! Oh. 